Today, I'm gonna show you three ways to use pizza dough that you never would have thought of in your wildest dreams. Life can be a struggle, but a good meal does not have to be. We can make creative, nutritious, and inventive dishes for under $2 a plate. Fresh pizza dough will alleviate all of your tired of frozen pizza ailments and take the savings right to the piggy bank. Here's the deal. If you walk into the pizzeria and you ask them if you can buy the dough, they'll probably give it to you for free the first one or two times. But after that, three bucks max? If you don't have a rolling pin, any bottle will do. Oh! A cast iron pan, which is cheap, is essentially our oven emulator. This is just a simple can of whole peeled tomatoes that I crushed and added salt to. It's better than any pizza sauce you're gonna buy in a bottle. Here comes some cheese, shredded mozzarella, a little bit of salt. So the bottom of our pizza is looking really, really good. So we've got the broiler, and it's gonna kiss it from above while the cast iron keeps cooking it from underneath. This is the one time you can actually watch your food cook, because it's gonna take like two minutes. That ain't bad for a home pizza. Pizza's supposed to be cooking quickly. That's why the cast iron pan is so awesome. The heat is intense. I bet you have a collection that you're really not tending to. The red pepper flakes from the pizza place, the soy sauce from the Chinese takeout. And I know when you get your coffee, you grab an extra two, three, or even four sugar packets. If we keep this drawer organized, it's like the finest utility knife, ready for any moment to add flavor to a dish for free. They're free flavor. It's $3 for the pizza dough. The tomatoes only cost 72 cents. And then it's only a buck 50 in cheese. This is gonna feed four people. That's a buck 12 for a quarter. Pizzas that come from the frozen section are sad. This is leaps and bounds better than frozen pizza, but there's so many more things we can do with that dough because it's essentially just bread. We can make an adult Hot Pocket. I have some ham here. And this has gotta be stuff from the deli. It's a lot cheaper than the pre-packaged stuff, which means it tastes better. Here we go with the cheese, piled high. We have olive oil. Maybe you've got an oregano packet. Maybe you've got a granulated garlic packet. The packets are really key for elevating flavor. Save them, put them in a piggy bank. We come up with the side. We come up with the other side. It's really important that you cut the slits into the top of your adult hot pocket because otherwise you're gonna have a steam explosion. In the cast iron pan, 325 for 20 to 25 minutes. Oh, mamma mia. Look at that strambolone. For six people, we're gonna get a lot of food out of this. We got $3 for the dough, we got $3.48 for my ham, a buck 50 on cheese, and 25 cents in olive oil. I got it to $1.37 per serving. I think you could probably get it lower if you choose some other meats or some other cheeses. Ah, oh, all of my childhood memories of Hot Pockets in homemade form. It's delicious! I know what you're thinking. Frank, it's not that dissimilar from pizza. And you're right. Which is why we're now gonna take pizza dough and make something sweet. You gotta remember, it's just dough, so you can make a cinnamon roll with little to no effort. Butter, soften. 34 cents of butter, and butter is the key to all pastry. All of this sugar for only 13 cents. The expensive part is actually the cinnamon. It's 80 cents. Don't worry, I won't tell your grandparents. I'll lead them to believe that you really are saving up. So if you combine these two things together, you have 93 cents worth of frontal cortex stimulating things. Oh, we're gonna do this like the sushi masters. Everyone has an equal size bun. One comes in the middle, and then seven go around. Bake it. Here we go, we got the Cinnabon for you. We've got to make the icing. How do you do it on the cheap? Use the coffee creamers that you've been stealing, you silly person. I easily saved 43 cents by using the creamer packets. 13 cents for this homemade sauce. This looks professionale. It is irresistible. This cinnamon bun 
is a fake cinnamon bun, and yet resembles the real thing, like, exactly. It tastes just like it. 55 cents each. All the sugar high, all the flavor, all the smell. And it came from pizza dough.